Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Google yesterday, late in my part of the world, on the 9th of October, rolled out the early stable update for our next version upgrade of Google Chrome, version 130. And most including myself, as you may well know by now, would not have received the early stable. It's only rolled out to a small percentage of users a week or so before the official version upgrade rolls out to the general public. So because it rolled out yesterday on the 9th, I would say that next week, uh, Wednesday the 16th, we will receive the official rollout of version 130 to the general public. Now, just a quick video to give you my thoughts on what I think we can more or less expect to see with version 130, because obviously it hasn't rolled out to the general public yet. So this is just my thoughts on what's going on in the preview uh, channels and what we've been talking about over the last couple of weeks and what I think may roll out with our next version upgrade. Now, I personally think that version 130 is going to be what I would call a light release when it comes to front-facing and new features. Because according to the Chrome platform status, uh, there's not much going on when it comes to front-facing features. And most of the so-called new features, and I say features very lightly, are aimed at your developers and are taking place under the hood and in my personal opinion would not be of much interest to your average home user so i think that 130 at its heart and core will be a glorified security update when it comes to that version upgrade now one or two things i think we could see rolling out when it comes to tweaks and adjustments and small little feature changes um, and this is just my thoughts on on what is going on uh, in the preview versions of Chrome is I think that we may get an option to move the search tabs back to the right. And with the Chrome UI refresh for last year, 2023, um, as we have posted about on the channel, Google moved the search tabs here from the right to the left. And I have seen... Um, um, in reports doing the rounds online and also comments on this channel that a lot of users of Chrome prefer this to be back here where it is in most browsers here to the right hand side and my reason for saying this is because a couple of weeks ago I did post a video um, that in Chrome Canary um, Google had rolled out an option that is part of the appearance page settings to move the search tabs back to the right and that option will be here as part of the site panel it'll be here just above or below this as i have mentioned in that video so i think that's one change we can see as to what's going on in the preview that google could give us an option to move that back and then something else um, that i have been talking about over the last couple of um, releases if we head back to canary which is an early preview version the toolbar, the new toolbar where you get all the different options to enable the toolbar buttons as quick shortcuts for different components like navigation, your Chrome and tools and actions. Um, I think we could possibly start seeing some of these making their way um, into the stable because with version 129's release about three or four weeks ago, if we head over to... Um, our experimental flags page and we type in toolbar yeah we get toolbar pinning enables the ability to pin features to the toolbar via the customized chrome side panel this is a flag as i mentioned became available with version 129 so there's a good chance um, that because the flag was available in the previous release that 130 might start enabling some of those options to place a couple of more extra toolbars toolbar buttons in the actual toolbar but obviously that's just a guesstimate on my part so that's it guys that's just a quick overview and um, just to give you my thoughts on more or less what we can expect to see with version 130 and obviously um this is subject to change um we could get a surprise and get something totally different to what I've spoken about in this video. But when the official release rolls out, obviously I'll post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.